In this video, we're going to implement the find pickup car method for our car service. And given we don't have the live data that Uber has, we're going to simulate this similar to the way we simulated the available cars. So I'm going to use the first mock car that we created for the available cars as our pickup car. Then I'm going to use that car's position as the starting point and the end point as our pickup location. And with these two points, we'll be able to simulate a route that we can use to feed new update positions to our pickup car on the map. The first thing the simulate route method needs to do is calculate the route. So I'll extract that out into its own method and then subscribe to the result, which will return the directions from the start to the endpoint. I'll then use that to get a route path and return the pickup car. So the first step is to implement the calculate route. And to do that, we're going to use the Google Maps direction service. And I'll use the TypeScript Google Maps definition to auto-complete this. Now the calculate route is going to return an observable and the direction service route is going to return a promise. It's going to take the origin or the start location and the destination. And we can specify what mode of transportation, which is going to be via driving. And the response of this if successful, is going to be our directions. So I'll return that in our next method. And then if there's an error, I'll just return the status message. So now that we have our Google Maps directions, I want to split up the directions into a route path. We'll store this route path as an instance variable for our simulate method so that we can increment through it as we send updates back to our component. The get segmented directions is going to break down the Google Maps directions object into pieces that we can use to send updates back to our pickup car component. So it's not too important to understand what this method does, but I'll try to explain basically what we're doing. To start with, we're taking the first route in the directions object because there could be multiple routes for a given directions between two points. And the legs is the first breakdown of that route. So we're looping through all the legs and then looping through all the steps in each leg and then looping through each point or set of points within each step. And at each step contains the duration. So by starting at the final step and working backwards, we can accumulate the duration up until that point. And increments will be all our updates for our pickup car. The pickup car position will be the point. The time will be the duration until the pickup car reaches the pickup location. And the path is the visual polyline on the map that shows the route from the pickup car's current point or position to the pickup location. And then we'll return this array of increments. So now returning to our simulate route. The next step is to return the pickup car. So we're going to create a method that returns the pickup car, which is essentially one of the items in our increments array. So that method is going to look like this. We'll create an observable and then return the increment that we're currently on in my route. 
and I'll store a variable for our simulate service that will keep track of the index in our increments array. This will be initialized to the first index when we request the car inside find pickup car. So now we'll just increment this index whenever this get pickup car is requested. And so every time this method is called, we'll return the update for the pickup car. So this completes our find pickup car method in our car service and simulation service. So now if we return to our component and request the find pickup car, we'll receive the car with the first increment, which will be the car's position, the car's time till arrival, and the car's path. So let's pick up here in the next video.